I'm Adam Rose, I'm uh, giving feedback for Tom Jones. Um, on the one that map tax test, uh, according to the um, according to the norm tables, you achieved a score of excellence. And um, to improve this, to well, to improve your strength overall, um, best thing to do is to do some sort of weight training, but um, where you can gradually increase the weight every single time. Not every time you do a session, but obviously over time. Um, by doing this, it'll help you in your sports be able to hold off other players while dribbling and just when you're having the ball in general. Um, on the sprint test, according to the normal tables, you achieved a score that was very good. Um, to improve this, you could do the parachute test. It's because you'll be running with a force acting against you. So um, obviously when you haven't got a force acting against you, in an actual sprint situation, you'll do. You'll obviously be quicker. Uh, this helping your sports it'll allow you to beat players with the ball or it'll allow you to get to the ball quicker than other players. Um, in the vertical jump test, according to the known tables, you've got the average score. To improve on this, you might need to obviously conduct weight training again, but this time specifically in the leg area, just like your quads and your gastrocnemius. Um, this will help you improve your strength because it'll amount to power in your legs, because it can produce, um, so it'll be able to allow you, if you improve your strength in your legs, it'll allow you to produce more power from them. Um, this will help in your sports, it'll allow you to jump high for the ball and beat players in the air. In the sit and reach test, you've achieved a score according to the number of it's excellent. Um, and to improve or maintain this, you could conduct different stretching manoeuvres. And obviously, the more you do your stretching manoeuvres, the more your body will adapt to the different positions you're doing. So it will obviously make your body more flexible. Um, this will allow you to, in, well, in your sport, this will allow you to tackle better because it will allow you to, say, stretch the ball in different ways so you're able to win the ball more, especially since you're midfield, this will be more of a benefit. Um, in the T-test, you achieved a, a test going to, well, a score going to the non tables which is poor. Um, to improve this, you can take part in different types of agility training, such as the SAQ test. Obviously, this will make your reactions quicker, which is also part of your agility. Um, having improved agility, you'll like get past quick players quicker and easier, because they like to turn easier because you have higher agility. And uh, in the multi-stage fitness test, you achieve an average score according to the norm tables. And to improve this, you can take part in different sporting activities that focus specifically on your aerobic endurance, such as jogging or any other like endurance type sports, long distance probably. And um, this will help you in your sport uh, specifically because it will allow you to um, play at a obviously a good level throughout the whole 90 minutes of a football match or 120 minutes if needed.